going to talk about uh, going low carb and then stopping going low carb, eating carbs again, and then gaining all that weight back. If you're, if you're thinking, gosh, yeah, I went low carb and oh, it did not work out for me. I felt like garbage or I could only do it for a certain period of time. I just couldn't keep up with that lifestyle. Wasn't the lifestyle for me to maintain. Maybe I did lose some weight on it, but then after I went off of the carbs, the low carb you know, diet, and after I started eating carbs again, I really gained a lot of weight back and now I cannot get it to budge, even though I cut out carbs again. Why is this not working for my body? There's a few things that happen with the body, especially the female body. Now, one of the things is that, um, I'm gonna write down here enzyme, especially for women who are in perimenopause and menopause, your body actually loses the ability to break down carbohydrate properly. There are certain enzymes and things that are present in your, in your body that help break down carbohydrate, utilize that energy properly in your system. And if you cut out carbs for a certain period of time, you don't have that enzyme anymore. Then when you all of a sudden introduce that carb back in, your body's kind of like, I don't even know what to do with this. I don't know <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> so you'll gain weight real fast. And then it's like, it's cemented on your body real tough to take off. And we have to get your gut going again, work with your digestive system. And one of the most helpful things I have found to help with this is actually carb cycling. Carb cycling, this is something I teach you how to do in the Female Hormone Solution Program. So Female Hormone Solution Program, go below this video, get on the wait list for the Female Hormone Solution Program. You do not wanna miss out. We only take so many people in each group. So I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon, so you can stay you know, informed, you know, dive into these resources. And I'm also host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. I have a ton of episodes, um, and episodes where we talk about carbohydrates, and episodes where I've even interviewed other experts that also talk about the negative impact of doing long-term low carb for the female body. One of the other things that doing low carb long term for the female body that it does is that it can actually interfere with your body's natural hormone process, how your body makes, creates, and maintains your hormones. That means that there are some women who, when they are going through perimenopause or menopause, are having a hard enough time with their hormones already. They're like, I'm gaining some weight, all these things. Oh, so-and-so did low carb. Maybe I should do low carb. I'll do that too. And then you cut out the carb piece might see a little bit of progress, right? But then you eat carbs and all of a sudden you have all these hormonal issues. It interferes with the hormonal process in your body. It's not you, you're not doing it wrong, right? It is just how our body works. So there's this enzyme piece and then there's also a hormone piece. There's also a hormone piece that gets, I'll just say messed up. <laughs> So it can be really tough. It can make a lot of your symptoms worse. I've had a lot of women who notice that their cycle symptoms are worse, their menopause symptoms are worse, and they're like, what else going on? Oh. And it's harder than to regulate your hormones if you're not getting enough carbohydrate and if you are not able to process and break down that carbohydrate correctly. So these are things that we make sure your body can do. These are things that we make sure your body can get enough energy from the food. Um, and carbs, you know, when we talk about carbs, just as a quick refresher, carbs are, you know, grains as well as fruit, some veggies, right? These carbohydrates have a lot of important nutrients in it. it they're, they're really important. There's a lot of important fibers and things like that too that really do help maintain your gut health. So if you have gone low carb and you've seen some progress from it, great. Now there are some people, there's a very small population, very small population of people who their health does benefit long-term from going low to no carb. That is not the population I'm talking about here. <laughs> so if you're like wanting to leave me a comment or send me a really long email talking about, well, this is just not the case, blah, blah, blah. There is a very small population that this is, right? This is the right thing for them. But if you, if that is not you, and if you are somebody who's like, yeah, I went low carb and now I feel like garbage and now I've gained weight back and now I don't know what to do about this. We have to work with your system to get it to process carbohydrates correctly. And again, I do talk about carb cycling in the female hormone solution program. So again, make sure you're on the wait list for that. And then we also got to make sure your hormones are able to regulate. 
right? There's some different processes. There's this whole process chain that needs to happen and that we have to look at. So we do hormone testing within the program to make sure that we can identify any issues that are not regulated here and work with regulating them with your system. So that's what I got for you today. Please let me know if you have any questions. You can always leave a comment below. I do check the comments. I hear from people all over the world every single day. So if you're not comfortable commenting, you can also send me a private message. All right, have a great day and I will see you guys later.